everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are building another Polly Pocket house. So I posted a photo of my most recent Polly Pocket build over on Twitter and a lot of you really seem to like it. A lot of you are probably watching this video because of my previous one. And I just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for the support and love uh, I got on my last video and my last Polly Pocket build. It was very, very nice and I appreciate it more than you guys could possibly know. So if you're watching this one, odds are it's probably because you watched the previous one. There's a couple of things that I feel like I missed in that video just because I assumed that a lot of people who were going to see that previous video probably watched some of my other builds. So let me give you the whole lowdown for the situation for Polly Pocket Builds. So I have an entire playlist of Polly Pocket Builds on my channel. I've been doing them almost since the start of my channel. I think I thought of the idea about six to seven months ago or so. And since then, I've been building lots and lots of Polly Pocket houses. Uh, some of them are replicas of real life ones. Some of them are replicas with a little bit of a twist. Maybe I changed them to make them look a little bit uh, more feasible for the game. And this one is going to be the first one ever that I completely created out of my own head. So if you don't know what a Polly Pocket house is, they are these toys from the 90s and the early 2000s that a lot of people probably owned at least one. And you may not have even known it because Polly Pocket did collaborate with so many different franchises, uh, including Pokemon, Nickelodeon, Disney. So there were tons of these things. And basically the way that they work is they are compact cases. So they just open and close on kind of like a snap pattern. And most of the time you would set them up up the way that I have this build done out in uh, the video. And they came with these little Polly Pocket dolls and they were just miniature houses. And the reason that people love them so much is because none of the furniture usually moved. So everything was stuck inside the compact case. It was very portable. You could bring it everywhere. And the only thing that kids were in charge of not losing was the Polly Pocket dolls. And even if you lost them, odds are you could replace them with something else like I frequently did. So, um, that is kind of what we're building here. Basically, it's a dollhouse, and I've built so many of them. If you'd like to check out all of my other ones, including some Disney ones and uh, some replica one-for-one -one Polly Pocket builds, I will have the playlist linked at the end of this video. And this one, like I said previously, is the first one that I'm doing out of my head. So I wanted to do a different shaped one, first of all. Every single one that I've done so far has either been rectangular or square. And for the longest time, I've wanted to try to do a different shape but as you can imagine when you're trying to do this dollhouse style it can be a little bit difficult to get different shapes going in the sims so I did manage to give the illusion of kind of like a hexagon or an octagon actually it would be a hexagon because it's six sides so I did give the illusion of a six-sided shape for this Polly Pocket house, and this is a common shape that they did use from time to time. Uh, they also used circular, which is kind of supposed to resemble that as well. And I just wanted to do something different. So we are doing a Sailor Moon style Polly Pocket house, and I kind of just had an epiphany and thought to myself, didn't Polly Pocket do some kind of a collaboration with Sailor Moon at some point? It just seems so hand in hand, like something that would so mesh together perfectly, especially because Sailor Moon did have a hype train in the 90s. And I looked it up and surprisingly, not really. There didn't seem to be like an actual uh, collab between the two. So I decided I wasn't going to let that stop me and I was just going to make one on my own. So this is probably the first of quite a few Sailor Moon style Polly Pocket houses. This one is based after Usagi, the main character, Sailor Moon. And some of you might be wondering how it is that I actually got the Sailor Moon photo in the background of the Polly Pocket uh, living room area. And I will be happy to let you know that that is actually not custom content. So if you download this off the gallery and it is already available for download under my origin ID, the alleged simmer, along with all of my other Polly Pocket houses, um, you will be able to download it and get it to look exactly the way that it is going to be uh, presented at the end of the video, including the Sailor Moon artwork. 
So there's kind of a unique thing you can do on the gallery where you can have your Sims paint from reference and then they can obviously paint from a piece of custom content and then uh, that piece therefore becomes non-custom content and you can upload them to the gallery as people do and download them and use them and everybody gets to play with them and there's no CC involved so you can still get that little bit of Sailor Moon without actually having to download any CC and I think that that's so cool. It took me forever to find some Sailor Moon paint paintings on the gallery, but I did. The plan is to do five more of these or four more, I suppose. One after Sailor Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, um, and then Venus and possibly, possibly Chibiusa. I just think that it will be a fun way to collaborate two of my favorite things together, Sailor Moon and Polly Pocket Houses, and that way we get some more. But I'm kind of tempted to put this entire idea on the back burner just temporarily because I got so many, so many DMs and messages and tweets of different ideas for Polly Pocket Houses. People saying, this is the one I had when I was younger. This is the one I had when I was growing up. Could you please build it? And that's literally the point of this series. I asked in my last video, if there was one that you guys wanted to see, please tweet it to me and I will try my best to make it. And I got so many good ideas and um, I'm really excited by some of them and inspired by some of them. So I'm probably going to do a couple of those. I'm not sure what my schedule is going to look like this week. I have kind of done away with schedules in the sense that I don't really theme my weeks out anymore. And I kind of just wake up every morning and make whatever I want to make, which is really healthy for me. So if I'm feeling more Polly Pocket, we will probably get some of your requested houses throughout the week. And if not, uh, we'll see. We will see what happens. But nonetheless, I definitely will be building some of them in the near future. And I always fall back on Polly Pocket Houses when I don't really know what else to build. Just because they're simple, they always come out super cute, everybody seems to love them, and it really uh, works out for everybody. So also, I need to let you know that this house is not necessarily designed to function, and I did make a little bit of a change to this one in particular. There is an area under the stairs that is hidden from view, and I decided to make that a bathroom. So it is not decorated very uh, well, but... I put a tub and a toilet in there so that if you actually did want to use these houses, you could. So you're going to absolutely have to transport up and down the different stairs, but I think it'll still be fun. And it's missing a kitchen, obviously, but I always try to give the disclaimer that I don't really build these houses to function. There are exceptions to that because there are certain Polly Pocket houses that are literally based off of... Um, actual homes so they'll have multiple rooms that have like a kitchen a bathroom a living room and it would probably be a little bit easier to live in there for example uh my starry night sky or my I keep calling it new year's eve party Polly pocket house has a full bathroom and kitchen and everything so you could probably live in there and it would uh work for the most part but yeah I also don't really know how these houses would be affected by seasons and just snow getting in your house in general. So if you have seasons, let me know. If you've downloaded these houses and you have seasons, let me know what happens to these. Because uh, I think you could build like a big glass dome over the top of them, but I'm not sure. So yeah, we have like a hidden bathroom area. We have a garden. There is a bedroom upstairs with an ensuite kind of living room area. And then the very top of this Polly Pocket house is designed specifically based after the Silver Millennium. I just wanted an area that was very kind of royal and looked like it was fit for a queen. And we have the glass on the top of the Polly Pocket house, which is something I've never done before. And um, just kind of to give an area view of the stars. And that was a theme that I really wanted to keep throughout this entire build. Again, this is coming from my head completely, but there are some themes that I obviously wanted to stick with, that being nighttime, moons, stars, and anything that resembled kind of that cutesy pink Sailor Moon feel uh, that the entire show has. So that's what we went with. And a lot of the other art pieces that you're seeing on the wall, such as the planets and the space pieces, are also uh, from the gallery and again not custom content you can download them and you can download the house and you will get it to look absolutely like it does in the photo so um I was building this little walkway area and not walkway I was building this circular area and it was supposed to be kind of like a ballroom again like an homage to the silver millennium but it really wasn't working and I built it all the way through 
and then kind of looked at it and realized it was taking away from the overall kind of cutesy feel of the entire build. I've also built a ballroom inside of a Polly Pocket house before, so I felt like I was stealing ideas from my other houses, and I really wanted this one to be very unique. So you're going to see me go through the process of building the entire thing and then deciding it didn't work and just demolishing it. And instead, we're actually going to replace this area as kind of like an entrance area if you were going to walk up to a big castle perhaps with um some fountains and some water and a garden area and just some like leisurely sitting down places as I like to call them um uh, and anything extra that I felt like the build was missing at this point Something that I always debate when doing these houses is landscaping. I do love to landscape and I think I've gotten kind of better at it in my most recent builds. Um, but it's hard for me to landscape these because I do feel like it takes away from just the overall feel of the house. And it's supposed to be a set it down and play kind of a toy. And I don't want the plants and everything to make it look like you need to have all that stuff in order to play with it, if that makes sense. So I didn't landscape this one. I I started to, and then I decided to just get rid of it all and go very kind of simple. I always put a couple of items on the outside of the home just to spice it up a little bit, but I really don't like to in all honesty. And some of them are going to be like more landscaped than others. For example, when I did my Bell's, um, I guess it was Bell's Castle or the Beast Castle Polly Pocket build, I went to town with roses and a garden and the outside. I needed to. I felt like I did at least. And I did for all of my Disney ones, I would say. Uh, especially my Cinderella's castle. When I did the actual replica of Cinderella's Polly Pocket castle, I landscaped that like no tomorrow. But for these little compacts, I just feel like it's not super necessary. So there's not going to be a ton of that. And we also included the indoor garden. So I do feel like that kind of takes the place of any kind of landscaping that you would need in a build like this. So yeah, we have like a sitting area off to the side and we, I really didn't decorate that back entrance way because I didn't want anything to block the uh, entrance to the bathroom. So like I said, you can use that bathroom and I even considered possibly trying to fit some kind of a kitchen in there, but it really just, there wasn't enough room and I thought I was trying to overthink it a little bit because I always worry that these houses not being particularly functional can be a little bit of a downer sometimes. But then again, I always say that they're not going to be. So I don't know why I try so hard to make them functional necessarily. And yeah, we have some indoor water. Uh, I just wanted to do some pretty fountains and make it, like I said, an entranceway where you walk into a castle and you kind of have this grand feel before you go up the stairs. And there's usually fountains and rose petals, lots of references to roses in this build uh, from Tuxedo Mask. Obviously, we have the rose in the glass pot on the table over there. There's some rose petals upstairs. All of the water is filled with rose petals. And um, for a while, I was really debating on what to even do downstairs. I didn't quite know what to do because I knew, like I said, that I was missing a kitchen. But it didn't feel right to put a kitchen at this point, especially in that downstairs area. It would have needed to go upstairs and there really wasn't a ton of room with the shape that I was trying to do. So uh, I really struggled, honestly, with this one. And it kind of sucks because when I do these out of my head kind of builds, it is 100% to give myself some creative liberties and just allow myself a little bit of breathing room to do what I want versus what I'm supposed to be doing. And when I can't think of what to do, it's kind of like, well, why did I even try to do something out of my own head? I should have just done something one for one. But I really do like the way that this turns out overall. And like I said, the plan is to go ahead and do some of the other sailor girls, sailor ladies. But uh, we will see with all of the requests that I got from my previous one, what comes first. And let me know what you guys would like to see. If you weren't one of the people who tweeted me and showed me a Polly Pocket house that you would love to see me do, please go ahead and Follow me on Twitter. It is linked in my description box below and you can tweet me pictures of your childhood Polly Pocket house and I will try my best to get to most of them. Some of them are not going to be feasible and um, that's just how the game works. So I might not be able to do all of them, but 
if it's a basic one, especially if it's square, I can definitely make it work. It's just a matter of time uh, before I end up doing it, really. So yeah, we are pretty much nearing the end of this build here. Of course, I always like to decorate the back of the Polly Pocket case because when you close them, they do usually say Polly Pocket on the top. So I like to give some kind of a logo to the back. And for this, I was actually trying to redesign Sailor Moon's uh, wand for the back and kind of give it a Sailor Moon style feel and just make it very much pay homage to Sailor Moon and kind of a replica of her wand that she uses. But I was really having a hard time with shapes and pieces, obviously. Eventually, we do figure something out. And I think if you squint your eyes, you'll get the feel of what I was going for. I just think it's cute. It works overall, and I'm pretty happy with it. And again, this is available for download on the gallery under my origin ID, The Alleged Simmer. It is called Sailor Moon Polly Pocket Home, and you can find this one along with all of my other ones. If you um, search hashtag Polly Pocket, I'm sure you can search for hashtag The Alleged Simmer. It will probably come up and let me know if you guys have any problems with that. Again, tweet me new ones. Let me know what you thought of this one. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post and I will talk to you all in the next one. Yeah.